So what's with the two different length cycling shoes? Paul here at Ask the Fitter. The reason I'm showing two different length cycling shoes is because I hear a lot of times people say, oh, my shoes are a little too narrow, so I got a bigger shoe. There's a problem there, a potential problem that can really cause some issues. As you can see, there's two different size cycling shoes. You may not be familiar with these cleats, but these are cleats for another pedal system. But for illustration purposes, this cleat's a little further back on the shorter shoe. The longer shoe, the cleat's further forward. So when you get a bigger shoe... The holes that you're used to on your Peloton shoes start getting further away. The ones where you put your little red cleats on or whatever color they may be. One of the things that you are probably not aware of when you fit a cycling shoe, you actually fit it into the heel and then you strap it on the front. Straps, bows, shoestrings, whatever you use. And that is how you fit your cycling shoe. But as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, whoa, that means the shoe or the cleats get further and further away this can cause a lot of stress this can cause a lot of excess stress on your foot your achilles your calf i guarantee 999 out of a thousand of you are going to feel way more comfortable i believe there's even some data that supports and suggests that it's a little more powerful i'm paul at if you have any questions let us know but please try to get the correct width cycling shoe i show lake all the time because they offer a lot of different widths i don't get paid by them or anything like that it's just one of the easiest shoes to work with. So many cycling shoes are on the narrow side. I just want your feet to, hey, it's the most important connection to the bike. It's two of them. It's locked in. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy your ride.